So, okay, so today, Behemoth Raid came out. Our group cleared it twice. We're going to review how the raid was, what kind of stuff we can get, and I think the vision for what the developers are looking for. I think this is good to know for people who are expecting Theomine on April. So, Behemoth, let's go from the very beginning. It's a 1640 eye level raid, and it has 16 people. And one thing that is very interesting is it has... A Eight death counters. You have eight tokens, you die, and then you can rest. Just like, like a guardian raid. Surprisingly, the difficulty of this raid is not that hard. And if I tell you guys feel of the raid was... The raid is not difficult at all. If I go over, because I did upload some VODs. So this VOD quality is really bad. Generally, you've, you're fighting like a very large... Uh, dragon you since you have 16 people you basically group up together and most of the mechanic is based off of each group kind of go over and do certain mechanics it was by phase so the general feel of the raid felt different the mechanics was based off of large number of players uh, for example you see us here this is basically a bunch of mini areas and each party will need to go over and kill like smaller guardians over here the guardians that we killed on the nine o'clock he shocks everyone all the time. So what I do here is I cast my awakening so that Saint can do a lot of damage. So see how fast we clear this guy. He has small HP, but he stuns you and stuff, right? So he wastes your time. If you don't kill the guardians in time, you basically wipe. And by the time we're killing this guardian, the rest of the party mates are just doing DPS. And the general idea of this particular raid is like he has four spots like Monster Hunter. So the wings, body, and the tail. The thing is when the body's broken, he drops his wing and then you get to see his wings like this. And if you drop his HP all the way down, that means his wing's broken. When the, when let's say his right wing's broken, but we didn't break his left wing. When he recovers his body from breaking, the broken part recovers. So the raid team's job is to break both wings simultaneously. And if you don't, the wings keep recovering. And if you destroy both wings, so what what happens is he he gets stunned again and you have a chance to break his head and tail this particular general mechanic goes from gate one and two so it's exactly the same so the difficulty of the gate yeah so difficulty is not that high it just needs teamwork you just need to have a communication and then you, everyone kind of needs to know if you don't have enough dps kind of drop both the wings maybe half or 25 percent hp and whenever you're given an opportunity to break the wings you split into like two groups and they just have a coordination and that kind of stuff is not that difficult as long as you have some uh, communication. And other than that, there's really nothing else uh, for gate one. His counter mechanic is also super simple. Like he just flies by and then you counter. And if you fail to break all of his body part, as in like break his armor, you wipe. Talking about gate two a little bit too, they add just a little bit more mechanic. These pools they generate, but you don't really need to step on them. Throwing them away is very quick. Like it only takes four or five seconds. It doesn't like wipe the ray for no reason. The game, since it's 16 people, they gave you death counters so that if you make a mistake as one person, you don't penalize the whole team. That point, I really like because let's say Theomine, one person make one mistake, you reset the whole rate. It feels bad. Here, you get multiple chances of coming back and like try better. That kind of stuff I like because if you keep resetting over and over and over, it just gets stressful. There's one mechanic that did have an issue is this particular mechanic. Like everyone's gonna have problems of this mechanic uh, everyone does actually is when he spawns you notice here is these are the lines where he's gonna spawn a gray tornado and he spawns two more after that he does the same thing for gate one to teach you how this mechanic works in gate two let's say these these tornadoes are coming out if you eat the tornado it explodes let's say here so my character's over here and i eat the tornado and it explodes right so this range uh, you get a debuff called shock for one second if you're shocked and you take another tornado you die immediately so you have to wait until this debuff runs out and then you take another tornado so this particular mechanic we beat it immediately after i suggested that yo just don't have people eat tornado just designate one person for the coordinates as in like left right top down and then it's one person per each party the purple tornado also happens near the boss and we also have one 
a person each party to take care of that so it's organized the game is like this raid is designed for one person uh, have a special a position and if you do it properly you have no issue like clearing the raid so we have one person designated which is me for the three o'clock side just taking the tornadoes out and if tornadoes are not cleaned out the tornado explodes automatically map wide and then everyone gets stunned and then uh, you die if you're uh, having a bad luck and it's this plus just a simple dodging mechanic and that's about it and then if you just keep phasing the other phases are super simple like you just destroy these shards when these shards are getting activated if your teammate hit it it disappears everyone just needs to be having their own uh responsibility of just activating these shards this artillery over here activated the shard if i decide to just go to him and then activate the shard it disappears and that's less stagger and if you succeed the stagger you get rewarded with a big uh dps push and afterwards this is the final phase from 164 to zero he only has like four patterns what's important here is by the time it's like two to three weeks when a lot of people understand how the mechanic works naturally it's going to be a very easy raid they have made a very simple raid for 16 uh 16 men and the rewards are very hefty and if i go to the rewards you get 7,000 gold and 14 1500 gold so it's 21,500 gold for just two gates and then you get scales a first clear scale you get 20 scales gate one gives you 10 bonus loot gives you 10 cost 3100 gold to buy the first one and second one is 20 scales and another one is 20 scales and then the buy is 4900 so you have a easy rate to get those stuff and with scales, what do we have this thing called a transcendent? So you guys don't have this yet. This is what you will get for Theomine. And transcendence is what makes your character very powerful. Like maybe 16 to like 20% damage increase. I don't know the exact math. For support wise, it's super important because it increases your buff efficiency by like a whole lot. For math wise, maybe in the future, if I make another video about transcendence, I can probably talk about it. And this behemoth one, it gave us the weapon for it. And the weapon, what it does is, this is for support. For DPS, it just gives you a lot of weapon power. But for support for five, you have 15% chance to get return identity meter for 15, like 15% 15 of it. If you max it out, it's 30% chance to receive 30% meter back. So it's a meter refund. And another one is you increase your attack power by 30% chance and your buff efficiency goes up by 2% even more by, by RNG. It's like, let's say for some of you are thinking about paladin, is let's say you use your meter your holy aura runs out you get 30 percent back it's massive so they added a like additional rng thing for supports to be excited about and going over the mini game so i haven't done this yet so you notice here i have got the first clear reward which is the 20 uh, scales and i bought the bonus suit so i have 80 of them right so i used 30 to activate the first thing and as for transcendence it's super simple like you have a cards so your goal is using these cards and within five turns if you delete all the gray tiles you get to have three stars and if you have 20 of these three stars which is seven rounds you get 20 star if you notice here for me i have you know three stars on all of them till rank six and then i have two stars on rank seven and if you do that you get to have all the cool attributes that you need it does cost a lot of gold to do it this is the transcendent system that you guys are going to get on april with the amide. if you look here if you kill behemoth what happens is you get to use the scale to get additional mats and this is the fire that you need to transcend as well so essentially just keep doing behemoth which is an easy 16 man raid it just helps you boost for it so we got a very casual raid that we can use it as a stepping stone if a 16 man raid was very difficult it'd be really bad honestly uh for me as a i was the raid leader for it i brought everyone together gathering 16 men uh, doing a video game it was very difficult i think we <laughs> you know what I, mean? <laughs> I just gotta be honest it took me a long time to figure out like who to bring, etc. Like which people that wanted to bring other people, like the, you need to think about the party synergy. Definitely gathering 16 people to come at a, a certain time. You know, people be like, some people just don't show up, you know, like that kind of stuff. Particularly when I played these two raid, my first run with the Gunlasser, we were all like heavily geared. So we, we were, we had a lot of uh, no problem with it. The second run, most of us were like almost on item level. Like they were all, there were a lot of 1640s, like maybe at least, at, at least 12 of them. And we were looking a lot of berserk time, right? But that was because we didn't understand the raid and we didn't, understand destruction mechanism right if you destroy him you get bonus damage 
So those kind of stuff, if if a lot of things were are more understood and DPS better, because a lot of people kept getting hit as well, and we were just bursting through DRs and shield and things. So when we played the alt run, it wasn't as difficult. Within the bonus raids, like the future raids that they're going to have, I think they're going to make raids that are similar to this. And if they do, like I'm not I'm not really against it, honestly. That's just, but that's just my personal opinion. So yeah, that was the uh, that was my review for the Behemoth raid chat. Generally, I think this is something to look forward to. It feels like they're going to create more bridges to make the vertical growth a lot easier.